You guys have a Yeti cooler? Ever seen one wrapped in leather? Me either. I'm gonna try it. Only done this a handful of times, stamping and using the swivel knife. So this is good practice. I think I want to work from up top down toward toward myself. And I got some practice. I could go around with some kind of a border thingy. Like this kind of thing. But, uh, I don't want to, I think it'll look too busy if you do that. Mm -hmm. I think it'll look all right like this. Feels dry. <coughs> Doesn't smell any better than the than the dye. 
just gets off any stray, uh, it burns off any stray fuzzies. Okay, tan coat. Get the show on the road. That's the first time I've used that. Worked, worked out pretty good. I need two gloves for this. Feebings, medium brown, antique finish. Get a glob on your finger, smear it on. Sure to get it in all the nooks and crannies. Make sure you go all directions to get it into all the lines that you cut and all the stamps, impressions that you made. Okay, this is dried for quite a few minutes. Maybe longer than I should have. We'll see. See how it cleans up. Got some weird coloration here. I think I might have got some of the token all when I was smoothing the backside. Maybe a little bit good over here. Maybe my fingers. It's okay. I'm gonna run some stitch and iron holes down here and sew that, and it would kind of hide some of it. It's okay. Alrighty, it's all dry. This is how we're looking so far. So I'm gonna stitch these. I'm gonna, I'll just use this line here. So I'm gonna run a, a couple stitches down so this doesn't come apart. So I'm gonna bang the holes for that, stitch that. And then I'm going to, probably gonna glue this together and then run a stitch through there to hold it. I, I haven't decided if I'm just going to attach the handle with um, some rivets or if I'm going to stitch this stitch this onto here. That'll be going through three pieces of eight ounce. But I haven't I don't think I've stitched anything quite that thick, but I'm sure we can do it. Let's see how easy it is to get through all this thickness. Stitch this. I can see that already. Okay, that's that. What am I going to do here?
five mil so the holes are spaced apart a little bit. Beeswax will help, maybe. This one ended pretty much even with that line. This one's a little above, so that tells me that not exactly a pure rectangle, but I think they have the same number of holes. One, two, three, four, five, ten. 13, 14, 15, 16. So, screw it. I'm not going to mess around. Prototype, right? Okay. All right. Going to pack up and move this show upstairs. Just getting back to this, since I've seen you, I ended up, uh, I had to put some glue, some glue on this because it was so thick. It, I was trying to sew it without any glue and it was just too hot. So I ended up gluing it and then just stitch the crap out of it. So it's on there. Um, so I'm gonna punch a couple holes through it and then I'll punch a couple holes through this part and I'll come together. I'm gonna start off with the 1 8 inch punch. Better to have my hole too small than to make it too big. Through there like butter. And I got something marked there, so let's just start with this one.
bottom looks like. Center. This just holds the top of the rivet. And as always, we just go for it. Because that's what we do. Well, that was easy. So far, so good. I'd like to explain what I'm doing, but I don't even know what I'm doing. It looks like it's coming out right. In a nutshell, I'm going, Xing the front, coming in and going back out the same hole, and it's giving me straight bar stitches in the back and X's in the front. Whether or not this is the proper way to do it, I don't know, but it seems to be working, so we're gonna go with it. So I'm not going to torture you by watching me do this whole thing. Well, my battery died, and I don't know what the last thing I was filming, but... I trimmed off this to make them even. I hit it with a Dremel, put some dye on it, so they're pretty even. I'm okay with it. I'm gonna waterproof this with some Satellac, seeing as this is a water cooler and I probably spill water on it. After it dries, I'll throw it on the Yeti and check it out. I'm Randy. Thanks for coming by. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, please do.